Auntie, hurry up. Head to your late. What? It's only eight o'clock. Looks like your alarm clock's slow again. And what time do you call this? Sorry, Miss Hardbrim. It won't happen again. Where's Hetty? Not again. Hey, Marnie, you've got a letter. Hey, you're so lucky. Aren't you going to read it? Not now. Well, it might be important. I doubt it. It's from my dad. I already know what it's about. It was from my dad. It was about a birthday next week. That's so weird. I didn't know it was my birthday next week. What are we going to get her? It's got to be the best birthday present ever. Hetty. You could get her a Mark Seven racing broomstick or an electronic spoilator. Hetty, those are all things you want for your birthday. Yeah, true. Well, what should we get her? Hetty, you don't understand. Mona was really upset by that letter. Like she didn't want it to be a birthday or something. But that's impossible. Everyone knows that birthdays are the best thing in the world. Will you try and think of something then? I suppose I could use me intuitive powers. Do what? To find out what Mona wants for her birthday. Mm. What's she doing? I'm trying to pick up Mona's aura. From her door? Well, I suppose you're right. I need something more personal, like an old slipper or a sock or something. I tell you what, you do it your way and I'll just ask her. Watches, our glasses, sundials, any old timepiece you happen to have lying around, really. Now, where did I put that carriage clock? Am I to understand that you'll be teaching time magic this morning, headmistress? That's right, Constance. To first, yes. That's right. Here it is. Ah. Oh, I do beg your pardon, Miss Hardbrum. You were saying? I was just wondering whether flashes are quite ready, headmistress. Time is a very powerful magic, after all. All the more reason to learn about it now, I'd say. My thoughts entirely, Miss Nightingale. And you never know, we may find a time witch amongst the girls this year. Wouldn't that be exciting? When was the last time you had a time witch at Cackles? Some time ago. It must have been back in the last century. Winifred Withershins. A most destructive influence. Ah, yes. Tall girl, ginger hair, went on to become an alchemist. And before that? Now, oh, that would be telling, wouldn't it, Miss Hardbrook? It was you, wasn't it, Miss Cackle? I had no idea. <laughs> oh, there's no intrinsic merit in being born a time witch, Miss Nightingale. It's simply an accident of birth. Now, if you excuse me, I must get on. Tempest future, lady. Tempest future. Mona? That's the most selfish thing I've ever heard. How are we supposed to get you the best present in the world if we don't know what you want? I'm not trying to be difficult, Hetty. I just don't really like birthdays. What? My family tend to get me things I think I ought to have rather than what I actually want. Then anyway, birthdays don't really mean anything, do they? Mona, you get to hold your older on your birthday. Does that mm. not mean anything? Not on the actual day you don't. Mm. It's a gradual process that takes place mm. over the whole year. She got a point. Mm. She's trying to pick up your aura. Ah, oh, some really strong vibes coming off this book. It's like Essence of Mona. Wow. Oh. That's why Diary Cressy and it's private. didn't steal a donut's headmaster. The other boy did. Having a bad dream, Caspian. <sighs> no, I wasn't sleeping. Uh, just resting my eyes. I've come about my grandfather. Your grandfather? I need you to take him down to the potions lab in time for my first lesson. If it's not too much trouble. What are you staring at? You are 
quite into the best birthday ever, don't you? Yeah, but I'm only going to have a look at it, so all you've got to do is keep watch outside. What? That's the nine o'clock bell. Oh, oh. Oh, no, we make my class pretty dear, would you mind? to something, but not this. Mona, listen to me. Going in someone's room and reading their private diary. How could you? Mona, I didn't actually read Excuse it. me. I'm late for my first lesson. So, if the beginning of the world is point A and the end of the world is point B, Time can be represented by a straight line travelling at a constant speed from A to B, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Wrong. I'm sorry. Mona, look, you've got to forgive me. I might forgive you after a while, Hetty, but I won't forget. But... You can't undo what's done, Hetty. There's no going back. As we can see, the speed at which time travels varies according to circumstance. We all know, for instance, that time travels faster when we're having fun. It slows down when we're bored. And sometimes when we're particularly happy or particularly frightened, it stands completely still like this. Tempus fugit arrestum. I want you all to try that. Pick up a pen, repeat the spell after me, and then drop the pen. Ready? Tempus fugit arrestum. Tempus fugit arrestum. Tempus fugit arrestum. Tempus fugit arrestum. Miss Cackle. important announcement to make. We have a new time witch amongst us, Crescent Moon Winter Child. See me after the lesson, Cressy. We've got a lot to talk about. I can't believe that you're a time witch. My best friend, Cressy. Is... I never met a time witch before. To feel any different. Can I have your autograph? Hey, isn't it great, fellow woman? We've got a time witch in our class. Maybe she could use her special powers to travel into the future and buy herself some clothes that are actually in fashion. Or go back to when she got up this morning so she can remember to brush her hair. <laughs> Is that true, Chrissy? We can go back in time. I think so. Miss Cackle said we could do a lot of things eventually. Hattie, are you all right? I'm more than all right, Chrissy. I've just had the most brilliant idea. Miss Cackle. Here, here. And it couldn't have happened to a nicer girl. I wish I had your confidence, Miss Nightingale. Crescent Moon Winterchild is hardly a model student. And her background is unconventional, to say the least. But the Hedgerich community have produced some very fine witches. Yes. And Cressy's a sensible girl. I'm sure she'll treat her gift with the respect it deserves. So, if we go back in time to when me and Mona were friends, everything will be okay again, won't it? Ready? Ready. Ready. Tempus, Fugit. Are you sure you got the time right? Yes. It was nine o'clock exactly. The school bell was ringing, remember? Okay. Okay. Okay? 
Tempus, Fugit, Aristum. You look a bit weird. Petty? Hey Mona, what's up? I don't know. It's strange. I was convinced you were up to something. Like what? Well, you'll think this is terrible, but for some reason I thought you were going to read my diary. Read your diary? As if. I would never do anything like that. Would I, Cressy? world is point A, the end of the world is point B, time can be represented by a straight line travelling at a constant speed from A to B, right? Yeah. Pressy, I thought we'd have questions at the end of the lesson. This is important, Miss Cackle. Very well, what is it? I, well, you know time witches? Yes. You know they, like, have that rule about how they can only go back in time in extreme circumstances. You know about that, Chrissy? I'm impressed. Yeah. Well, anyway, what would happen if a time witch broke that rule? Say she went back in time with one of her friends. What would happen then? It's hard to say, Chrissy. It depends why she did it. But dabbling in time inevitably has all sorts of unforeseen effects and could be extremely dangerous. My best friend, Cressy, is a time witch. I never met a time witch before. Do you feel any different? Can I have your autograph? Hey, isn't it great, Belladonna? We've got a time witch in our class. Mm. I know exactly yeah. what you're about to say, Belladonna. So don't bother. We've got to tell Miss Cackle. What? You hear what she said? Dabbling with time can be extremely dangerous. Look around you, Cressy. Nothing bad's happened. Yeah, but... Oh, hello. What do we have here? What are you doing? We still don't know what Mona wants for her birthday, do we? I don't believe this. She's doing it again. Oh, relax, Cressy. She's not going to notice, and if she does, then we can just reverse time again. No, Hetty, we can't. Amazing. It's on the first page. Ideas for birthday. Safety harness for Kitty. Hetty. New cage for Fang. Hetty. Speed stripes for Hetty's Hetty. That's weird all for me. Hey, Mona. Look, I know exactly what you're going to say, but I just think you should know that in a little while, you'll forget all about this and you'll be like it never happened. Isn't that right, Cressy? Cressy? Cressy! Please, no. Please, no. Please, no. I'm not doing it again. It's wrong, it's bad, and it made me feel sick. But we only have to go back a few minutes this time. Isn't it worth it if we can save our friendship with Mona? Come on, she'll have the worst birthday ever if she hasn't got any friends. Tempest, Fugit, arrest them! This isn't right. We should be in the Great Hall. I don't like it, Hetty. Something wrong. It's nine o'clock. We've gone back too far. No, it's more than that, Hetty. It's like not on work, Poppy. Right up, you two, you will be late for spells. Cressy, are you okay? You look a bit weird. And why are you holding Hetty's clock? What on earth? Look! I think it's already now. I think you'd better tell me what's going on. Time. 
time is out of joint. You had to go and teach lesson anyway, and now look what's happened. Time's gone wrong, everything's horrid, and I've got to wear these nasty, itchy tights. I haven't taught the lesson yet. That's what you think. What? If you haven't taught it, then how come all this has happened? Hmm? Of course I did teach the lesson. There was a time witch in the class, and she's the one who's made all this happen. I bet I know who it was, too. Hetty Hubble, of course. She thinks she's so clever, but she's nowhere near clever as me. Hetty. Oh, dear. Stay where you are, Miss Hardroom. I'll have you back to normal in no time. Merry Christmas! for a hundred years. So, are we in the future, or what? And if we are, what happened to Miss Cackle? Don't worry, guys, I'm not dead yet. Cressy, so it's you. I'm afraid it's gonna take both of us to sort this out, dear. Yes, dear. You've gone back to the beginning of the day. And nobody but we four will ever know that any of this happened. Am I in terrible trouble, Miss Cackle? It wasn't her fault, Miss Cackle. She wouldn't have done any of this if it wasn't for me. I'm well aware of that, Hetty. And 
I should probably have you both scrubbing out cauldrons for the rest of the term. But I can hardly punish you for something you haven't done now, can I? Vince, lead singer. Tay, drummer. Leon, heartbreaker, lead guitar, and Belle, manager. Belle, manager? Yeah, I manage Belle's voice. She's found the perfect band. No, she's not there. But have they found the perfect manager? They're hot. They're huge. They're... Belle's boys, coming soon, brand new and exclusive to CITV on ITV1.